Hello everyone, we will start with a new topic as a part of ABAP programming and our new topic is control break statements. Now control break statements are also called as control break events. So if someone is using the term control break statements or control break events, one and the same thing. Now we all know very, very well up to this level that event, event always require a action or it will trigger automatically when a time has been reached. Now our topic is control break statement or control break event. So event word is there. So yes, we require a action or it will trigger automatically when a time has been reached. Now for the control break event, there is no action required from our end. They will trigger automatically when the time has been reached. So control break events does not require any action at all. They will trigger automatically when a time has been reached. Now, now the first question comes, why, why we require control break statement or control break event? What is the purpose of control break event or control break statement? Control break statements or control break events are used to control the loop loop. So whenever I want to control the loop or the best word, if we will say whenever we will, whenever we want to control the data flow of the loop, whenever we want to control the data flow in the loop, we will always, always take help of control break statement or control break event. Now, every, every control break statement or every control break event starts with at and it ends with end at. And it's to say we learned so many things like this. Suppose whenever we will go for if, so every if we have a end if. Suppose we are saying for every loop, there is an end loop. For every while, there is an end while. For every do, there is an end do. Now for every control break statement or event, it always, always starts with at and it ends with end at. Once the practical will start, you will understand fully that every control break statement starts with at and it ends with end at. Now, whenever we want to apply control break statements or control break events, we need to follow some prerequisites. Now, what are those prerequisites? The first prerequisite is control break statements should be applied inside a loop. Just now we studied the purpose of control break statement. The purpose of control break statement is to control the data flow in a loop. It means we should always, always apply inside a loop. Yes, we should always, always apply the control break statements or even inside a loop. Now, what is the second prerequisite? Internal table should be in the sorted order. Whatever the internal table you are using to apply the loop, that internal table must be in the sorted order. Suppose simple example. If you are using the internal table LT underscore data, suppose I'm writing a loop. 
looped at lt underscore data. So this lt underscore data must be in the sorted order, must be. Whenever practical will be there, we will put so much stress on this point because without sorting, we will always, always get a wrong result for the control break statements or event. So internal table must be in the sorted order. Now we have total four types of control break statements or events. So total we have four types of control break events or statements. But this first one, first one is at first, second one is at last, third one is at new field name, whatever the field we will specify. And the fourth one is at end of field name. So total we have four control break statements. And have you seen every control break statement starts with what at starts with what at. And just now we started the point that every control break statement or event starts with at. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we started with a new topic. The new topic is control break statements or control break events. They are also called as control break event. And we all know very well event means either it require a action or it will trigger automatically. Now for the control break event, does not require any action at all. They will trigger automatically when the time has been reached. Now, what is the purpose of control break statements or event? They are used to control the loop. And the best word is they are used to control the data flow inside the loop. Whenever you will go for control break event, it always starts with at and it ends with end at. Whenever we will apply control break statements or event, we should always follow the prerequisite. What is the first prerequisite? We should always, always apply inside the loop. And the second prerequisite is internal table must be in the sorted order. Without sorting, there is no, we'll always, always get a wrong result. And total, we have four control break statements or events. First is first one, add first, second one, add last, add new field name and add end of field name. Now, in the next video, we will firstly understand these four control break statements or events. And then we will start with the practical part for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.